this just keeps happening. Yep, there go <laughs> and there goes like so many viewers. That's that's the beauty of this game. Yeah, I know. It's I thought I could have had it this run through, I really did. I think I should go left there. Okay, I'm not gonna give up. If you guys bear with me, I'm gonna try to run through this again. I totally get it though, because it's frustrating. Again, there's that patience piece. And you can do everything right and then something stupid like that happens. And it can all just blow up. <laughs> well, um, since you missed it, the big brute Chris Walker came up and grabbed me because I tripped on like a pallet or something. I think I should have gone to the left, and I think I should have been quiet about it. Alright. This game. I really want to be done with it. And I'm moving right along. Well, that's the third time I've died today. <laughs> Just today. It's fantastic. Such a bummer when that happens. Not you, not again. I like to peek at that guy. I don't know why. I just like to say hello. <laughs> this needs to be my last attempt for today. I don't think I can handle <laughs> dying more. <laughs> Now you know why I really, really hate that guy. I hate him so bad. Little fake. <laughs> He's not gonna do it either, apparently. <laughs> well, if this is scaring you, then I'm doing my job. Then I'm really happy that I'm streaming it. I remember when I was younger and I tried Silent Hill and that game I, just scared me too I much. See. I didn't want to play it. God, I just wanted to watch someone possible. play it. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I will say I'm really heartbroken that they canceled the new Silent Hill project that they were going to come out with. Norman Reedus. I absolutely would have played that game in a heartbeat. Hey, hey guys. Nice to see you again. <laughs> I honestly have never fully played through any of the Silent Hills. I tried, like I said, when I was younger and then I quit. But that was back before I knew what I was doing with games, too, so I think that makes a huge difference. That guy, that guy, he just really wants a friend. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying again. And again, you've seen me die like every single time I think. <laughs> I, I'm gonna keep trying until I beat it. I'm not, I'm not giving up. I mean, I might take a break today, but I will beat it. Oh, it does. Especially when I'm broadcasting because I find myself saying the same thing about every part, which gets old. I'm sure if you just watch all my streams that I have up, it's just the same thing over and over again, and that's probably pretty obnoxious. Yeah, I died here. My last die before that one was I jumped out of this locker too early and died immediately, so that was a slick move on my part. So I'm kind of nervous right here. I don't want to do it again. You wait just a second. 
Okay. Alright, timing was good that time. It's not chasing me. Whew. Alright. But you're still never safe till you get through here. Alright. I've died here more times than I'd like to admit to. Hitting the buttons. I seriously have done this so many times. I think it's actually a downfall when you do it so much because you're like, oh, this is an easy part, and then something stupid happens. So we're gonna just hide here. <laughs> I'm not gonna warn you on the jump scares. Not at all. That makes it more fun. I can't ruin it for you, no spoilers. Especially since I've seen them so many times now. This guy is in here. We're gonna wait for him to leave. As soon as he leaves, I'm gonna book it. Okay, he's not on here. Oh, yep, there he is. Spoke too soon. Man. Shut this door on him. Get this. Oh god. Excuse me, sir. Hide in a locker if you can. <laughs> I almost just botched it. Okay, you should come check this other... <laughs> So their locker, it's not evil. Oh god, okay. Uh, I think I actually jumped out of there too soon. I didn't hear the locker next to me. And that's actually how I've died with Chris Walker before. If you do that with Chris Walker, you get smoked. Alright, lights are on, good news. Temporary safety. Whew, I can take a take a breath there, even though it doesn't matter, I've done it so many times, but it still freaks me out. It's just the fact that I can die. Oh, it's such a big needle. I'm sorry, my son. I didn't want to have to do this to you. But you can't leave. Not yet. There is so much yet for you to witness. I do love what they did with the characters in this game, though. Will you see it? Can you? <laughs> Our Lord, the I know that sigh. tearing his truth into the unbelievers. Not only are there lunatics, the but out of this place is we the have truth. ghosts. Accept the gospel, and all doors will open before. All right, fake save again. Don't worry, this next part isn't scary at all. It's totally fine. We have a private room all to ourselves. Now it's going to make you record this room before it will let you leave. And every time you record and you see the scribbling, those are notes that get added to your collectibles. I've already gotten all of them. There's 31 notes and 31 documents. So, yeah, we're not. <laughs> we're not going to get all the collectibles this round. No, it's fine. Oh, is there? Naked brothers. Keep going along. I mean, this looks like Disney World. It's totally safe. Nothing to worry about. Just hearing the noises. Sorry. Yep, we're gonna just <laughs> pretend we didn't see that. And I've seen it so many times, and I always point it out. It still makes me giggle every time. 
The best part is, if we would have stuck around, he yells at us for being a sicko for watching him. That we weren't invited and there's something wrong with us. Wait until I finish. Alright. Follow the blood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this game has all sorts of videos in there like that. Um, in Outlast 2, do you get to. I think the. Pre I looked up the premise. Isn't it a husband and a wife? Do you get to pick who you play or. Okay. You want to make sure you open that door, because a diable moment <gasps> is coming up. Just shut up! Let me think for a minute! Quiet! Uh, uh, he won't quiet. hurt us yet, but he's uh, very angry. There's an extra battery in there. One of two that you get. Okay, shut this door in this guy's face. He can kill you, but he's about to chase us. And this is the reason why we open that door. Oh, nice. And there's a bed to hang out under right here. And we'll just wait until you hear the door close and then we're safe to leave. I mean, I'm still gonna play Outlast 2. Like I said, I think I'm just going to take a break, a little gap in between them to get a fresh solo game in my stream. But I really wish that there were more multiplayer horror games because that is right up my alley. We're still waiting for this guy to leave. I have some... Oh, there we go. He's gone. I've played Destiny 2, which I liked, but then I kind of got bored of it, so I kind of quit playing it. It's a great game, though. I just prefer stuff like this. Oh, cool. Okay, so this guy is going to be able to get us here again. Well, I shouldn't say again. Now, once you hit this button, make sure you run. He will get his one hit. Do not stop running, because that would be a bummer to die from him. But once you're on the you're safe. Okay. That we did. I, we I haven't gotten, like, the last DLC expansion on Destiny 2. I, like I said, I kind of got sick of doing the same stuff and so I stopped and then there's actually I played with my friend um he actually streams on here he's two bit punks and he asked me to play destiny with him so we streamed and I haven't played it in so long so I was fumbling around with the buttons no, no. Hey, Chris Walker. we actually tried a raid and it was just it was terrible. No, Destiny 2 is not a horror game, which is why I don't really want to play it too much. It's a sci-fi sort of game. It's spacey. Space sort of things. <laughs> but I'm trying to get my buddy into more horror games. I got him to buy Friday the 13th the other night, and that's just one of my favorite mindless multiplayer games to play. I usually play that almost every night, because it's just so fun. Okay, so I just followed the wall, because I knew there was a door there. We're opening that. And then once we hit this fun little button, yeah, it is a first-person shooter. A space first-person shooter. That would be an accurate description. Chris Walker is after us again. I don't know how this guy is everywhere in this game. He walks so slowly. I feel like he has clones. Oh. 
onto a bed of bodies. <laughs> I like to use my night vision camera during this part. I think I say it every time too. <laughs> Just so I don't get caught up on anything. I actually did just get Uncharted, like all the games in a pack. So once I'm fresh out of other games, I'll probably dabble in that. I heard it's pretty good. We're gonna wait for him. Oh no, don't go that way. I'm gonna wait again. Because I started running when he was right there and he's literally grabbed me. So I'm gonna wait until he goes down somewhere else. Actually, I platinumed The Last of Us recently. That game was fun, I really liked it. Okay, yeah, go that way. Okay, and we're gonna run. Hey, buddy. Please don't kill me this time. Oh, he's too close. I don't like this. And we're gonna go for this crack. I mean, I'm sure they've been in here for quite a while. I feel, I mean, clearly they're sick. They're patients here. Whether they were made that way or not, but... I don't know, Far Father Martin could just let me go. I actually, up until the summertime, I was an Xbox One player too. And then I got part of the 13th on PlayStation because a lot of my friends for PlayStation players versus Xbox. And now I'm converted. So that's why I can play a lot of the games that I've already played on here and try to get my trophies again. Actually, I've, <laughs> I've platinum Skyrim on Xbox. It's not anything like these games, but I do like Skyrim, and I will probably eventually get it on PlayStation and do it all again. That's a lot of hours to put in that game, though. I don't know if I would broadcast it or not. It's not too entertaining when you're just grinding stuff. Alright, back to the series. Since I really liked um, The Last of Us, I know it's the same person that did Uncharted. I heard that I would like Uncharted, so... I will get there for sure one day. And I would get there even faster if I quit dying <laughs> on insane mode. Alright, here comes... Uh... Here comes the part where I can die from this big bad Chris Walker again. But if you watched the first time I just played through it, there is a trick to it. You just start running here. He's gonna jump down and he won't see you. But you really... I think that's the trick to this mode. You really have to commit to running into what you're doing. Because if you hesitate, <laughs> that's when you're going to get tripped up. I'm going to do this, and I'm not going to die in a locker again. I refuse. Um, I think he's only going after me because I'm an outsider, man. Like, he's... I'm sure they all kill the security guards. Oh, I know, I'm so excited for The Last of Us, the sequel. That's coming out this year, too. Come get me, big ugly smelly guy. 
go check that locker. Oh, good. I think I figured out the timing there. He's just not even, not even noticing me. That makes that part so much easier to handle when he's not chasing after you. He can actually breathe. You see all these twists and turns? Those are so easy to go the wrong way <laughs> when you're getting chased. And drain this. So now our ladder should be free and clear, but we just have to sneak around Chris and hope he goes the right way. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait a second. But he, at this point, doesn't even really know we're here. But don't get too close to him here. He can pull you out of this little tunnel. I need him to go back behind him. Or to his right. My right, but he's probably going to go forward. Oh, good. Wait till you hear his chains go. I have literally waited here so long before because he keeps going forward and I just don't want to mess with him. Wait until he's far enough away. And then we're just going to take off. I really get excited when he just doesn't even notice me. And down we go into the darkness. Yet again. Seriously, all the parts where I've died at, I get so nervous because I don't want to die again. <laughs> It is nice when it's not intense music in my ear, waiting for me to die. I was so scared to go up here the first time I played it. I literally, I was like, I don't think I should go up there. There's a guy waiting for me. I wasn't sure if I was going to die. So I went back the other ladder, all the way back in the tunnels, and I was like, wait, this isn't right. your battery over here because you will absolutely need it. It's so funny because I tell people that I'm trying to beat this on insane mode and they're like, uh, yeah, no. I actually am nervous now that crime that you told me that is insanely almost impossible on Outlast 2, so. That's going to be interesting. Ooh. Apparently this is where they dump their dead bodies. There's a lot of body parts just floating around. I remember when I was younger, I um, used to play Doom on the PC, but I was like a little girl at the time and I would play our computer was in the basement and I was so freaked out by the game I used to blast like Beatles music to try to make me feel better it works but that game is still so scary back in the day ooh Bioshock yeah I like Bioshock a lot too I played that on um, Xbox yeah, that has a good creepy feel to it. Save some battery life here. Ish. And we're gonna head up towards this light. And this is the part that I seriously do not like because I've died here so many times. Like I've died here a lot on normal. But Chris Walker, of course, is behind it all, and he's always there. I'm going to really stay on the outskirts this time, because I feel like my last run through, I was too close for comfort. So we're going to really just avoid him. I didn't like hearing his chains in my ear during this. Towards the middle, right over there, there where that light is coming from, I have to jump up. 
and jumping's not okay. Right there. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go for it, even though I hear him. I have like turned off my night vision camera there on accident too, trying to save battery life. And <laughs> it did not go well because I missed the jump. Okay. I've also, like I said, I died from this guy. Okay, well, he took a swipe, so that's good. He hit me once there before, and I was like, oh, okay, and I went left instead of right, and he got me his second time, and I was so depressed. So, was that yesterday or the day before? I can't even remember. Hey, wait up, guy. I do have to see through here for a second. And as much as I don't want to use my night vision to save battery life, I know walking me running in the dark is like very fun either. So sorry, I'm trying to use it only sparingly, but with enough so you can see what I'm doing. Hi friends who joined in to watch me hopefully actually pass this. Um, if you want to follow me, that would be great. I love spooky games. And I will do, do them all. I will play this stuff so you don't have to. <laughs> Save yourself a heart attack. Alright, at least I should be familiar with where I'm going. Now, I'm pretty sure in real life I would not be pushing this out of the way to open the door for whatever that was. Oh, wrong way. Great start. There is also a document in the corner up over to the right. But I guess I'm just gonna jump in the air. Um, already got the documents. You I cannot even explain how ridiculous the jumping is, is in this game. Prime, you probably know. Have you had issues with it when you played on the normal? Run through. Okay. Oh, sense of security, I'll take it. I wonder what these are holding. I don't know what is in here. Oh god, I don't want to hang out with you. I do not want to. <laughs> this does not seem like a place I want to be right now. <laughs> okay. Hopefully. Like I said, make sure you look where you're jumping, otherwise you're not going to go where you want to go, and then they're just going to run in and beat you up, and then you're going to be sad because you have to start again. This jump is also tricky. Make sure you look down and jump at the last minute, because you can die there. And we're not safe yet. I have literally like stopped there thinking I was okay, and then I just wasn't. <laughs> I'm like, oh, the music stopped. I must be safe. Lies. Dirty lies. Who's down there? You're not one of them, are you? Quick, get in the dumb waiter if you want to live. Lies from this guy too. God damn it! See ya, guys. Hopefully not anytime soon. You chase here, buddy. Oh, doctor. Hey, you're this is just a lawsuit Christ waiting to guy, happen. Aren't you? <sighs> His witness or whatever. You must be exhausted. No, let's take a break, huh, buddy? You old two martini lunch? 
Hmm? Have a little confab. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Heavier than you look. A little cardio wouldn't kill you. Okay, here we go, arms and legs. I'm Inside sorry for this five-minute thing. <laughs> I don't know if you guys want me to talk during this or if you want to listen to what he has to say. I feel bad. I want to do what you guys want me to do with it. Oh boy. I just really want to beat this fight. You know, I love the mountain air up here at night. You, you want to head out and take a stroll? Yes, Go I would ahead, love to, I'll sir. Here. Go on, run free! <laughs> I'm in no hurry. No? Alright. It Those actually the hurts my heart so just like a little that. bit okay, seeing that, that courtyard out there nice. knowing what I did last time. <laughs> Doctor, you need to put some pants on, sir. That cannot be in line with the health code. At least, you know, I get to sit for a minute during this part as this character. Take a load off from all the running. I don't think it's a good payoff with what happens to me, but... So what can you do? Probably not telling any use anyway. Because he told me. It's just so once again, this is just showing our path to get out. Yeah, Pay attention to where you need to go. Uh, thanks so much for coming by. We'll begin your consultation in a moment. We'll just need a second to wash up and, uh, oh, movies. All right, sorry. And Guess it'll give us a them. chance to talk. <laughs> Although you might not want to with that view. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I'm a bit worried how much time you've been spending with Father Martin. I, I know, I hope you haven't He's been letting him jealous of the guy that doesn't want to mutilate my holier body. Holier than thou, Bible something. Uh, no offense to the man, but I sometimes worry he might just be a little bit crazy. And that is absolutely the pot calling the kettle black. It's understandable. You people get scared. There's like to turn to God as anything else. And God died with the gold standard. We're on to a more concrete faith now. You have to rob yeah. all to pay Peter. There's no other way. Murder in it is the simplest form, but what happens when all money is gone? Well, money becomes a matter of faith. And that's what I'm here for. I honestly you. wish I could fast forward this part because I've seen it so many times. You paying attention? Aww. Don't pass that on me. We're so lucky to absorb. It's so violent. <sighs> and this is why I have a warning on my page. This thing is gonna sell itself. All right. And onward, we can continue. I mean, it's cool. It's a cool storyline. And when it's your first time playing through it, you don't know what's going to happen, so it's always fun. Oh, did he take my fingers? I think he took them. I don't see what he did with them. Okay. <laughs> right? He seriously needs to put pants on. <laughs> so bad. I don't know what you do to your backside to make it look that mutilated. Okay, so we're just hanging out here again waiting for the doctor to come in. That way we don't have to be chased and feel like we're going to have a heart attack during this whole part. Flap and there is so much nudity in this game. <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh, here comes this doctor soon. This guy is cute over there. He's about to be murdered by the doctor, but I guess it's better him than me. So just make sure on this part that you wait long enough for him to come in the room. He's gonna be 
focused on him. And I'm not going to run, because if you start running, he's going to hear you. He'll start chasing you. So we're just going to casually make our way this way. Uh-oh, he just said hold up there. That's normally the cue to me that he's coming for me. Unless he just noticed in the room that I was gone. But either way, the music didn't spike up, so I'm good with it. And this is what you really, really, like I said before, have to make sure you push out of the way. For that elevator. I'm gonna run this way. He should be coming around the corner. Pre-open that door. And there he is. Hey, do you not see me? There we go. And the chase is on. Although I think he got closer than I really wanted him to. That's fine. We should be okay. Shut the door. By the time he <laughs> breaks through it, which I don't know why he doesn't just open it. Oh, hey, Smug, what's up? Okay, so he's still on us, so we're gonna run. This part um, took me a long time to figure out. But once you know the tricks, it's so much easier. Are you flapping? Are you playing on insane mode? Or is it just normal mode? Smug, how are you doing today? It's good to see you back. I've already died a couple times. Okay, make sure on this part you only open the right side. That will help you out. And once you grab this key, stop back again. I died there because it wouldn't jump over the counter. That was depressing. So we're gonna wait here, trick him the exact same way. Just wait till he kind of gets far enough in. And then... Oh, he didn't even hear us that time. Haha, -ha, suck it, doctor. I wish it would save on insane mode. I would have had this game beaten in like one day if that were the case. There you go. Safe at last for now. Um, Flappin, you should follow me and watch my many attempts. I'm gonna eventually, I've said it already today, but I'm gonna get, do the DLC and I'm gonna do the second one too. Have you checked any of those ones out yet? Um, Prime, someone who was watching earlier, I don't know if he's still here or not, but he said that the second one is nearly impossible on insane mode. On normal mode, I think there was a battery underneath those stairs, but that would just be too simple on this mode. Thank God you survived. I feared that secular mania. Honestly, I usually like start this. off a game on normal mode just so I can get the feel of it. Normal or easy even, just to really enjoy the scenery and the story. And then I'll kind of keep upping the ante a little bit and doing harder and harder until I'm finally faced with doing whatever I need to do to get the trophy. Did you like the beta? I had to burn it. All of it. Murka took so much from us. I have a weird case you of deja vu happening right now. <laughs> Things, because nobody cares about Maybe it's because I've been doing this over and over and over again. Smug, how are you doing today? Um, I will not be playing it today. 
but eventually I will get to the second game. I really want to focus on beating this one on insane mode while it's fresh in my head so I don't forget what I need to do. But I do dabble in multiplayer horror games at night. Like Friday the 13th. That happens almost every night. Okay, I'm trying to listen to his chains. When he goes away. Um, yeah, there was a guy in here who said he played the second one. I'm gonna walk slowly. Oh god. I think he's coming back. Oh I oh I feel shaking. Yeah, we're gonna wait. I think I do this every time. Where are you, sir? Hmm. I live in Ohio. Where is everyone else from? I don't know where he's at right now. I have no idea. Please don't be over here. Okay. Oh god. He still sounds too close to me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, he's right in my ear. Okay. Okay, we're safe. Oh, Sweden. Nice. I have a friend, actually out here who used to live down the street from me and he lived in Sweden and now he lives in Ohio and he's a pilot for United. Oh hey! What's up silent but deadly? Fun name. New York, you're close. Thanks for for joining the the craziness. Okay guys. I cannot mess this up right now. Don't do it, me. Um, no. The music is still there. Although I didn't hear his chain, so I probably would have been okay. Silent, you should follow me. Follow me and watch all sorts of spooky fun. And maybe occasionally some other games that my friends talk me into playing with them. Go away, Chris. Thank goodness he's a big brute. Because he can't fit through this stuff. Um, if you guys click on my page and follow me on Twitter, too, there's a link on there. I will try to update a few hours before I'm going to play something when I have an idea of what it's going to be. Okay, I don't like hearing your chain that close. I have a Facebook page link on there too, and my YouTube channel. There's not too much on it yet, I just started streaming earlier in the week, and I am obsessed with it. I love this. I love, yep, I have a Facebook link on there too. I love getting to talk to you guys while I play it. It honestly takes the edge off of it. Love seeing where people are from. If you guys broadcast and stream, I will absolutely follow you back. All right, so we're back where the doctor had us. Go to the left here. Sorry again that it's dark. I just know where I'm going to save battery life. Oh, I just realized we're at the part where I died last time. <laughs> yep, I have Twitter too. There is a Twitter link. Oh yeah, that's right, Smum. You followed me on Twitter. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side here. Hi! 
I don't know what that says, but hello, thanks for joining. Alright. I'm really hoping. Get up this ladder. <laughs> it doesn't have great playability, I will say that. I don't know after I totally beat this if I'm gonna dabble in it again. Alright, guys, we got this. Thanks, dude. I think I'm gonna go to the left during this part now, when I drop down, and not the right. I don't think the right was very lucky for me. And I think I'm gonna be quieter about it. I thought it would be better to run through it, but I don't actually think that's a good idea. Um, I do. I actually, I'm gonna start, well, I don't know when, but I've never played The Evil Within 2. I've only tried the first one briefly on Xbox a while ago when it first came out, so I'm gonna do that one. Um, I will broadcast when I do the DLC to this game and the second one, because I have not tried those yet, so I'll broadcast on my first gameplays. And you can laugh at me when I scream and get horrified. Okay. I'm gonna to stick to the left this time. And not run. I'm gonna change my battery. Battery. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> what I intend to do. Follow me on Twitter and I'll update you. Oh god, why is he like right here? Where is he? Alright. I'm gonna run for it. Oh god. Three jumps in a row and that's where I normally bite it. Okay. Going strong. Oh god, my heart is pounding since I died there last time. I think that's what's so crazy about this mode. I'm not really worried about the jump scares anymore. It's just that. Like, I'm freaking out a little bit. Okay, I have to breathe. Okay, I'm letting my health kind of get up here. This gazebo is going to be super important coming up here. All right. Get my bearings, because we're about to be chased by this dude again. So we're gonna go. The best way to do this is to run counterclockwise. I feel like I'm not running that fast, and that's a little concerning. Okay, but I guess he's running that Go, 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 go. Alright, guys, good news. This is only the second time I've ever made it this far <laughs> on Insane Mode. And now I feel like I kind of know what to do on this part. Although, oh, the fuse part is very tricky up there. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Oh, thanks for the follow, dude. You're beginning to understand what thoughts Okay, new part now for people who have been watching me do this over and over again. Oh, I think I do have to go through there, don't I? I think. This part, I almost run out of batteries all the time, too, so... Not a good thing. Where... Do I... Oh, okay, that's right, I have to jump through this window. You will clearly see a difference in how I play the rest of this game now, because I'm so familiar with the beginning part, but not this part. Oh, that's not where I want to go. That is definitely not where I want to go. Stay away from me, friend. 
I know there's a battery over here. Yeah. Okay. That will come in handy. Oh, thank you. I have fallen down these stairs so many times, it's not even funny. Once again, the jumps, they get me. I would be lying if I said I do not have anxiety right now. I seriously hate this part. Um, where do I even have to go? Okay, that's right. Uh, okay. I feel like I should put a battery in now for safety because this part gets sketchy. Alright. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get it done. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. Uh, yeah, I did the drain part already. So many times. Okay, so this part... A friend is gonna come in. And the trick is... He's gonna run up. He should, I thought. What? You need to go further in the room, buddy. There you go. If you shut this door... I think you can get through this part pretty easily. I say that and it's probably not going to matter. Okay, we're going to run this way. I'm going to just try to beast mode this right now. Go over here. There's a battery you can grab quickly. Ah. And we're going to just keep running and hopefully not see our buddy. Oh my god. My heart is like pounding right now. Okay, we're gonna shut this door. Because I think he's gonna be after us. <laughs> we're gonna wait. Because I have to breathe. Oh god. I don't know where this dude is. Um, I think I actually have to go taunt him. Not really taunt him, but I think I have to lure him over here. I'm shaking. I'm... My hands are shaking right now. I think I heard him walking around outside. Okay. I have to get out of here. I have to just make this happen. I think. Alright, guy. He's gonna be here when I open the door. I just know it. Oh god. I'm so scared right now. I don't know where he's at. I don't know where he's at. I have no idea. I'm so scared though. Oh god. I'm going as quick as I can right now. Fuck! Okay, I don't want to die. I only had to hit a button, but I'm going to go to safety. Okay, he can't come after me in here. <sighs> My whole body is shaking right now. I'm so scared. I'm more anxious because I don't want it to be for nothing. That's a trick, though. That's how I... Oh, God. Where are you? What are you breaking? Oh, I think he's breaking down that door. I'm gonna like wait here for a second for him to get away from there. All I literally have to do is hit that button and that key will drop, but he's, he's hanging out over there. Oh my god, I hate this. Gonna... Do you, I don't see him. Are you in here? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Just trying to zoom. Okay. Here goes nothing. We're gonna hit and go. Come on, there we go. It's gonna drop. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay. 
All right, I made it. You guys, I'm so excited right now. And then I run the wrong way. Okay. Holy smokes. Here we go. We have to go all the way back to get our key. And my heart rate has to get back to a normal pace. All right, I feel like I should put a battery in here too. <laughs> I know, run. The name of the game is running. All right, I'm gonna flip this so that I can see, because I know there will be another guy that will want to chase after me. That guy. But I hear you, guy. I don't. I don't want to hang out with you. Okay. All right, we're we're pretty good right now. All right. Hoo hoo hoo. God, this game, man. I mean, if you've played it on normal mode, you really have to try it on insane mode and give it a shot because it is a whole different ball game. There should be this battery here. Okay, perfect. Man. Follow the blood. We're gonna jump over and not fall, hopefully, because falling would be very detrimental. God, I... My stomach is in knots right now. I feel like I'm gonna puke. And we're jumping. Um, I got this headset for Christmas. Oh, it's a Supso S U P S O O. I don't know. I've um, it was a present, so I like it a lot. Does it sound okay? I hope it does. All right, there's a ghost. Hey, ghost buddy. Oh, this is this part where I have to remember this bed because I don't like to take chances with these guys. Okay, we're gonna run away from these guys. I know you can just run past them if you know where you're going, but I don't want to make a stupid mistake right now. Oh, perfect. That's really good to hear. Okay, here comes this guy. Oh, there he goes. Alright. Gonna, gonna go now. It's been fun, naked guy. I don't want to really see you. And I would prefer if you put pants on, but hey, that's just me. All right. Yeah, this game is really cool. It is really neat. When I started the first time, my very first playthrough, I was just wondering what the heck I was doing to myself. <laughs> okay. I'm so nervous right now because we are so close to the end. Ooh, <laughs> like I'm jittery. Feel like I need to mellow out. Okay, we have to go get my camcorder so we can see in the dark. There is a battery in here, but I'm gonna wait to grab it until my way back so I can get the most out of my battery life. Um, there will be a moment where I can die. Going down there, we're safe, but getting chased back up, we are not. So I have to go find my camera. Stay alive. Hopefully. <laughs> I hate it. It doesn't matter, I can still know that it's like coming. But it still freaks me out sometimes. Most times. We're gonna pick this up, and there are going to be guys that want to murder me, so we're gonna just run very quickly so we don't die here. I hear you. I'm not gonna bother with closing doors. I'm just going to try to get to safety. 
which, okay, come on now. <laughs> Once again, the death traps of jumping in this game. Okay, we're safe. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> that little jump scare? <laughs> oh, they're fun. There are so many good ones. So I'll use my battery here. This is exactly what I was waiting for because this one's almost drained and I knew I needed to use it then so I'll refill it and pick this one up. So that we've got our full battery so we should be okay. Hopefully for the rest of the game. Let me get my bearings here, put away my camera so I can see clearly. All right, we have to climb back up here and not fall, actually make it. God, I'm nervous. I don't want to mess up. <laughs> okay, we can go this way. Oh, that's it. This way is going to fall. So be careful you don't die there, because that would be a bummer. You can go right here. Alright. Only one way out. Only one way. Oh god, look at his eye. Whoa. Okay. Oh no. Bobby, this is where I died yesterday. Okay, I got it this time. I made it this far and this is where I died because I had no idea where I was going. We're gonna go for it. <sighs> Holy cow, we're just gonna run. Oh no, don't save. I need... I'm anxious. Go, go, go. So you're gonna go one, two, on the third door, and jump up here. Okay, see how easy that was? And I died there last yesterday. Like, it's so depressing that I died right there, because I had no idea where to go. I ran all the way down the hall where he was at, and that was not the right way to go. I think I died in there. I ran in that room for no good reason at all. Okay, so this is officially the furthest I've made it on insane mode, and we are so close I can taste it. We're so close. Holy moly. I am losing my mind right now. Um, okay, there's nothing. Oh wait, I have to go through this way. I forgot. See, it's been a while since I've been this far. I really like this part of the game though. I think the music is really pretty and creepy. It's like a different feel than the rest of the game has had. And we have to go on this ledge and get on the side of the wall before you jump down because that door will be locked. I do remember that. <laughs> All right. We don't need to hide. That always creeps me out too when there are lockers. Like, do I have to hide? Just watching you play. That's so creepy. Just a shake of the head. <laughs> and he just walks away. It's so cool, though. So neat. Um, I have to go around. Oh, up here. And we're in a theater room. This is an interesting little watch, but we're not going to do that right now. That will actually be one of your notes if you play it on normal. Oh my gosh, I'm so freaked out. My adrenaline is through the roof right now. There's a key. Oh, maybe that's just a document. Maybe I made that up. Yeah, you don't actually need anything in here. We can go up. Although it's really hard to see where I'm going, so I'll use night vision. Oh yeah, because we have to crawl a little ways. We're gonna just head over this way. 
And he's going. Nope, nope, he doesn't want us there. But with him doing that, this door opens up, so that's good news for us. And we can crawl on this ledge. God, just with the music with that added on. Oh, so good. It's the perfect timing with just that intense, crazy music. Yeah, it is daytime in Ohio. It's around 1.30 here in Ohio right now. I refuse to quit, though. I mean, I guess it's still early, but... Okay, next trick. Oh, I... How do you jump down there? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna... I'm gonna go around, because I have no idea how to do that. I thought I could jump down, but sorry, it's going to take an extra second to go the long way. We're going to go down the stairs. Yeah, we're just going to go right down the way we came. And there will be guys that will want to kill me coming up here, but there is a way to avoid it. You just get down over here and do our door trick. We should be okay. Let him run in and we can just run out. <laughs> you don't get tripped up. Ugh, okay. We're almost past most of the diable moments. Um, what time is it in Sweden right now, Flappin? <laughs> yeah, it's fun to play these sort of games at night torturous. I think this door opens over here. Nope, I lied. Once again, you can see... Oh, this one is... Oh, the kitchen. Oh, boy. Um, spooky music is always a good sign. This part is so cool. I just love that. Like, I love that screenshot. It's very neat. And it's good to see it again, because it's been a while since I've been here. <laughs> now, there's nowhere to die on yet on this part. Don't think. Oh, I don't know why I just put a new battery in. That's fine. I don't think I have to even see you. That's a note right there. There is a lot of... Oh, did he pee himself? Oh no, it's a shadow, I think. I don't know. It could be pee or a shadow. I guess nothing is off limits there. Um, that's not the door I want, it's this one. Oh, so it's pretty late over there. So this must be fun to watch over uh, over where you're at. Okay, so we're getting so close that my fingers are starting to cramp up because I'm holding this controller so tight. Alright. The naked guys are back. Crap. So this is a cute little scene to watch, but I'm stressed out because I know Chris is after this part. We will join the and if I die right there, then I just deserve to never beat this game. So enjoy this scene. Sorry, I can't fast forward it, but... My job. You alone shall escape it, Alpha. This is your penultimate act of witness. The promise of the prophets was always freedom from death. And, and here it is. Oh, you will watch poor beast. My resurrection. And together we will be free. Did he um did he play I'll insane mode or was it just a normal mode? I fixed the elevator. It will take you to freedom. We will all of us be free. He just wants to be free. No, my son. Aw, it's kinda sad. <laughs>
Did he end up beating it when you watched him play? Oh, poor guy. Okay, well, we got our key. So we can go try not to die during this next part. I'm really anxious about it. Because as soon as we jump up over here, our buddy Chris is gonna come get us. But at least... Okay, if you just go right here... Oh god, can you get out of here? Get out of here. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, don't mess this up me, don't mess it up. Oh my god, I can't believe you didn't come after me there. Oh my god, you guys! We are almost home free. That was the part I was really worried about, because that jump. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, okay. We are so close, we are on the last chapter. We are going to the basement right now. it's going to happen. I can feel it. It's going to happen. Oh, I'm kidding. I haven't heard of that, but that'd be cool. If you guys have suggestions for games I can get in the future once I get through a lot of this stuff, let me know. You can write on my Twitch page, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, send me some messages. I will absolutely take everything into consideration because I love scary stuff. So, okay, there are two places where I can die here. Well, maybe three. And I will die if I don't keep running, so, or if I fall. So hopefully I don't mess this part up. But this is kind of a cool change of pace in this game. I really like the difference in the scenery. Where? Did I go the right way? Oh yeah, I didn't want to fall. Oh, it's free? Oh cool, I'll definitely, I will definitely get it then. Uncanny Valley, cool. Thanks for, for that idea. Oh, I'm gonna just try to run through this part. I'm so not wanting to die here. That would be the most depressing thing ever. Here. Okay, now we want to run because you can die here. Nope, no ghosts. No, I don't want to play with you. Oh my god. I am... Ah, I hate you, Chris Walker. I hate you. No more. Don't worry, we're not dead. This makes me so happy. I have so many levels to watch this asshole get the life beaten out of him. He's killed me so many freaking times. Alright, well, we don't have to worry about him anymore, but we are not out of the woods. Over here. He's going to talk to us for a while here, so we can't skip through this, unfortunately. We are like, maybe ten minutes away from this game being done. <laughs> and there's two parts coming up that I'm kind of worried about. Um, what are some of your favorite horror games, guys, if you're watching? Thank you so much for all the follows, by the way, guys. I really, really appreciate it. 
discovered in my research a war command. I game so much, so now it's nice to have a purpose to game and stream so that you guys can watch along with me. But through psychosomatic direction, we engineer the precise... This door won't open until he's done talking. I hope it's gonna happen, Prime! I hope it's gonna happen! If I just run past this stupid ghost, and if I don't fall over that jump, then I've got it. That's what... That's what I have to do. Well, I will play all the scary games for you. I will keep them coming. All right, we're gonna run during this stuff now. Let's see up. Okay, so this is the part where I can die, and I used to stop running. He's about to come right there. See ya, dude. See ya. I don't want to hang out with you. Holy moly. Ah, no, thank you. Okay, we're safe. See you over there. Okay, we're okay for a hot minute. Oh, that guy is not okay, though. Um, oh, I have to go this way. We are so close. We are so close to it. I can taste it. So, there's this guy in a bubble. There's some good story to that, but we're just speed running it. This is the end, you guys. We're gonna run. I have to, like, turn off that guy's life support who, if I believe correctly, he's in charge of this win or wall rider or whatever. I think he's... Or I don't know if that ghost is protecting him. I, I can't remember. Okay, so we're good until I turn this. And then we're gonna have to run all the way to the end. So we're about to get chased and we cannot stop running. So I can't do anything stupid like that. Get tripped up on a rail. And don't touch doors because it's a ghost, it can go through it. Oh man, you're gonna run all the way across over here. Oh my god, we're so close. I'm sorry, I see someone wrote something, but I can't look right now. It's too tense. I will look when I am safe, which will be <laughs> in a hot minute. Oh, that was slow. That was too slow. Okay, we're gonna go up about a million stairs here, so sorry if you get nauseous. Because it's intense. Oh god, there's so many. It's an unnecessary amount of stairs. <laughs> oh my god, okay, I made it, because you can absolutely fall and die there. <laughs> Okay, okay, I think we got this. Yeah, I will absolutely let you know. Um, follow me on Twitter, on my page, and I will update when I'm going to switch games. And I'll probably play Friday the 13th tonight, or Resident Evil 6, with my friend 2-Bit um, Punks. He plays with me. So... We're almost there, guys. I cannot believe it's happening. I cannot believe I'm going to be done with this game. After all the stupid mistakes I've had dying in here. I just, I have to make this last jump. 
Uh oh, no, I don't have to. <laughs> Oh man. So now we're just gonna hobble back. I'm just gonna keep running because I don't know if he can still kill me at this point. But the music indicates that he can, so I'm not even gonna try otherwise. Bam! You are toast. Sir. Oh my god, you guys, I'm so happy I could cry. Like, I'm so stoked that I finally did it. Although I'm gonna take a beating from this ghost here. He is really unhappy with me. I really think that you guys all help me through this a lot. Like, I think with your support and cheering me on, like, you really, really helped me do this, and I am so appreciative. You guys are all the best. I need you all to follow me and seriously, like, stick with me during these games because it worked. It really worked. Now we're gonna hobble, but oh, I'm so happy. So this can just prove to you guys that girls can play video games and do really hard things <laughs> in games. Aw, oh, thank you. Yay, Philip, I did it! I did it! <laughs> Although it's a sad ending to this game. It takes a while to hobble out of here, but it is not a happy ending. I seriously am going to do a happy dance when I'm done with this. I'm so pumped up right now. Like, I feel like I can do anything. I felt this way too when I beat Resident Evil 7 on Madhouse. That was a good feeling. But at least you can save on that game. This is just a slow, agonizing stumble. Um, I think... I might not do it tomorrow. I might, around the same time. But definitely on Monday, between like 11 and 1 Eastern Time, or probably I'm thinking of starting Layers of Fear. I might start it a little bit tomorrow too, but tonight, like I said, I'll probably be on till Friday the 13th, sometimes at, sometime after 7 p.m. Eastern, and or, I don't know, we might do some Resident Evil 6. And that's it, you guys. That is beating it on insane mode. I think, like, with me dying, I think the ghost came back. I don't know. Uh, yay, there's my lunatic trophy, you guys. There it is. That's it. 100% on this game. Um, oh, you guys are the best. Um, follow me. I will follow you back. Be a good support system to each other. 